well as videos are definitely a way to go and absolutely uh, number one thing to start with. Good content is a way to get good traction. Having professional photos done of yourself, if you're an entrepreneur that's you know, looking for engagement from social media, from digital marketing, you know, the, the way to do that is to have good content. I think it's important because it, you know it just shows who you are, right? And it, it be, you could brand yourself better by having somebody professional be able to do your photography and capture you in the best way, you know, to help you shine. I am Michelle Romanoskis. Um, I'm from Scranton. I'm getting my photos done for social media. Um, I own Tri Boutique Fitness Studio and also Lux Personal Training. But I'm a health and wellness coach. If you're an entrepreneur. If you're a business owner, getting those professional photos done is like one of the first things you do. And if you have to have those photos, you have to have some sort of content, something that people can relate to so they know who you are. Well, for any business owner, I, th I think photography is important. My grandfather always had this saying, people will treat you the way you look. Hiring professionals for, for how you want to be perceived, I think is it's incredibly valuable and you should hire a professional any chance that you get. Hiring professional camera work is the difference between a Fiat and a Lamborghini. They're both cars, but you can see the world in between them. I think really when it comes down to it, you only get one chance to make a first impression, so why not pay some money and get the best first impression that you can get. Sorry, this is my first live. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your of Alexa course. app. Of course, she decides. This is my first live video. Hey, what's up? I see, uh, oh man, I can't read your name. I am so sorry. Um, anyway, I am just gonna go th through something really, really simple here. And it is, let's see, show full desktop. And what we're going to do is basically show you how to get rid of your plug in, plugins before you update to Final Cut 10.4.7 because those plugins are causing a lot of issues. Um, I'll probably have to re edit this video and just throw it up here without that big video in the beginning of it. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull open. Um, uh, we're going to head into Finder and pull up the, well, pull up Finder and head over to the Movies folder. And inside of the Movies folder, you're going to notice something called Motion Templates. That's where all your plugins are stashed. Um, so we're going to head over to Motion Templates. And what I like to do is... I created a new folder. Um, let me switch these around. I like them this way. I created a new folder and um, called it Final Cut Pro Stuff. And uh, these are all the titles and templates and stuff that I didn't want in Final Cut for that update because they were causing problems. So basically to remove them, all you do is you grab one of them, pull them over to your new folder, hit command, and that'll move it instead of just copy it. And you just drop. And then, uh, boom, now you're done. And that's it. And generally, uh, just try to find when you, when you update, remove all your plugins uh, and try to figure out the ones, which ones that are causing all those, all those issues and just take them, drag them into a new folder and pretty much call it a day. Uh, open up Final Cut and slowly start putting them back in as you know, as you can confirm that they're updated, as you learn that they aren't broken to begin with. Uh, it's frustrating because Final Cut does not have any kind of way to detect which plugins are causing problems with Final Cut. So, yeah. 
is that not enough live? Is this not enough content for a live video? I don't think this is enough content to make a live video. Um, I don't have a long thing. That This whole process is way faster than I anticipated it being. Yep. I guess I'll finish it out now.